when you're going on a job interview, have you ever noticed how companies will ask you, well, what can you offer us? What can you bring to our company's value? And have you ever just sit back and thought about it? Well, what can you offer me? What can you give me that can increase my value besides adding a, a workload on me or treating me like a number? How can you benefit me? I think this is a two-way street. And I honestly feel like a lot of you guys who's going out to get these interviews and jobs for welding, that you need to be able to ask those type of questions. There's nothing wrong with it. It's probably going to catch them off guard because I didn't did it before. And they be like, uh, well, um, well, we got these benefits. Okay, okay. Every company got benefits. And majority of companies will tell you that they got something that will be better than the next company. Oh, man, we take care of our people. We give them paid vacations. We give them this, but they'll work you around the clock. You know what I mean? Like, I know this one company, they working these guys six, seven days a week, no time off. They doing more messing up than they doing doing stuff right. So sometimes if you can just do the hourly wait, do the hourly uh, time right where you're not just overly working someone, then you'll get more out of them. But then if you just listen to these companies, though, they'll sell you a dream, man. They'll have you jumping aboard like, yeah, 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 this is the company to be a part of. And then after a week or a couple days, you're like, oh, my goodness, what did I do? You just get in the bag. So now it's time to move on. If you see that situation, just go on and move on, man. I mean, there are jobs everywhere. So stop feeling like you got to commit to a job. Commit to your skills. Commit to your passion of doing what you do. But you ain't got to commit to a job. Fuck a job. You can get a job anywhere because you're working on building your business, but you got to use a job to do it. You want to sh sharpen up your skills. You want to get focused, get yourself together, but don't allow that job to be like, oh, I moved here just for this job and this job fell through. I'm just going to kill myself. Really? Stop thinking like that, man. Use the job as a stepping stone. The things that are valuable are the people that are around you. The ones that really support you, your support team, your kids, your family that's really, you know, in your corner. That's valuable. You know, your your relationship with God, that's valuable. Your health, that's valuable. But a job, man, it's a dime a dozen. You can get a job doing anything. You can stop doing welding and get a job and probably make more money doing it. So a job can come anywhere. So don't get caught up and saying, oh, I just got to do this. Get some money. You know, if you got to switch it up, do some yard services, you're doing welding, you're doing some repairs, you're doing painting, whatever it is that you do, because I don't know your hustle. Do it all. Get your bag right. Do whatever you got to do to do what you love to do. And I'm going to say that because I know ain't nobody else going to tell you that. Do whatever you have to do to do what you love to do. Hog on.